करप्शन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हेल्थ जेंडर एनवायरमेंट डेवलप कॉन्फ्लिक्ट अरुणाचल इज सिचुएटेड इन यंगफॉल माउंटेन्स ऑफ हिमालय कॉमन सेंस इज द सॉइल्स आर लूज एंड देर इज लैंड स्लाइड एवरी रेनी सीजन टू एड टू द नाइट मेयर सेवरल डाम प्रोजेक्ट हैव स्प्रंग अप सडनली नन ऑफ द सर्वे रिपोर्ट इज इन पब्लिक टेबल इवन इफ इट इज कैन वी बिलीव दिस रिपोर्ट Arunachal, the powerhouse of India, is the choice destination for dam builders. In the name of development, many big dams are being built just to serve a few vested interests. A 2000 megawatt mega dam in Lower Sibansri, being built by National Hydropower Corporation, is one of such projects planned on the river. It is 2.3 km upstream from Gerukhamuk village. The left bank of the dam will be in Assam and the right bank in Arunachal Pradesh. As per the constatus, it is in fact taller than the high-profile Sardar Sarobar Dam on the Narmada River, which is attracting much mainstream attention. Uh, the Shyam River, it's one of the major rivers of Arunachal Pradesh. It is being shared by uh, China and India. There is an international clauses which says that whichever nation uses the river, make use of that river first, has the priority of right over that, you know, over that river. So initially this was the idea and the central government and the state government, they decided, they understood the, you know, importance and they decided to construct a dam in our state starting from Siang River. The government of India is claiming that these dams will generate 50,000 megawatt, whereas entire Northeast by 2020 requires only 1800 to 1900 megawatt of power. Where will this power go? Answer is very clear. These companies like NHPC, NIPCO or JP will earn foreign currencies at the cost of the lives of our people. It doesn't matter if our people die or displaced. As a filmmaker, I have interacted with uh, many people, both who were in favor and both and and those who were against the construction of them in our state. And in most of the cases, I find out that uh, about 95% of the people are, you know, they are on the line that there shouldn't be any, you know, them in our state. And rest 5%, they are in the favor of construction of them. In the history of dam in India, court have never said no to any dam. It hasn't said no to Lower Sibansri project either. But in order to pretend to serve the cause of ecology, it has created another caveat, saying if you build a dam, you also build a protected area over the dam, throwing out more people than the dam is throwing around in the first place. If we look at the Lower Sibansri dam project, it allegedly throws out 250 families. Most of the villages are on the river banks of the plateau. Several have shifted to the hillside to accommodate new dams. We have soft sedimentary rock structure. What if hills cannot resist the pressure of the water? What if 1950s style of earthquake hit Arunachal again? Time to ponder. Apagadi for India Unheard, Itanagar.